Hello again. Yesterday's top temperature was in Porth Madoc again and it was 30.8 Celsius. Today we could see a 30 Celsius somewhere in the southeast and for the next few days it's going to be warm and sunny and not as humid as it has been in the last few days both by day and by night. High pressure is still very much in charge of our weather keeping things fine and settled and mostly dry. There's a lot of sunshine today. Along the east coast, we've got a gentle breeze that will peg back the temperatures a little, but as temperatures rise, that could spark off some showers across the north, heavy and thundery, but not as frequent as they were yesterday. So along the North Sea coastline, a pleasant 21 to 20 degrees Celsius, widely into the mid twenties, locally in the southeast, possibly 30. Through this evening and overnight, a lot of clear skies, so a sunny evening. Overnight, you can see the cloud coming in from the North Sea across northeast England, drifting down towards the Midlands. And we're looking at temperatures falling away between 8 and 14 degrees, a cooler night in Northern Ireland and Wales than last night. Now, the low cloud that forms overnight in any patch you missed for that matter, too, will burn away quite quickly tomorrow. Then again, it's going to be another dry, sunny and warm day for most. But as those temperatures rise, we could see one or two showers develop southwest England, Wales, the East Midlands. But they'll be the exception rather than the rule. And top temperatures could get up as high as 27 or 28. Thursday into Friday, low pressure in the Atlantic swings in with its weather fronts, introducing some heavy thundery showers initially to Northern Ireland. But there'll be a lot of dry weather to start with and again a lot of sunshine. The wind subtly changing direction across the east coast, so temperatures here will be that bit higher. And we'll see some of those heavy thundery downpours coming in across Northern Ireland with a few homegrown showers in the west in the afternoon. Temperature wise, well in the east, up to about 24 degrees. Then Friday into Saturday, the weather fronts make more inroads across the country, so more of us are likely to see some showers, especially so during the course of Sunday when we could catch one almost anywhere. So on Saturday itself, we start off on a more humid note. There'll be some showers, especially in western areas. We'll see more of those in the east on Sunday, and it remains unsettled.